Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we are reviewing episode 164 of Boruto Naruto Next Generation. Sorry, 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 it has been a long, long time that I have reviewed the Boruto anime. So uh, I'm going to try this to do this every Sunday if, as possible because I am free Sundays and Tuesday to review the Black Clover and the Boruto anime and the chapters will be a little bit late of chapter reviews because i don't know what time they're going to come out on that so if i'm not three on that day like when they usually come out it'll be a little bit late so um like maybe like an hour or two late but yeah that's enough enough of that talk let's get straight on the video but but before we get on straight on the video make sure you subscribe to this channel turn the bell notifications on so you never miss a video also like this video if you enjoyed this video comment down below what i need to prove on if i'm if you want that if you want better content but yeah let's get straight on the video but so we got this opening scene back in the last episode when one of the was it yuji um clan members from land of haze uh remember the quadrants with um the all basically guys with pink hair like looking at uh boruto's team team seven with marjun um so we know what happens to marjun in the uh manga but this is a good addition to the anime original arc that we got a little bit of Magino Magino in this arc so we're getting his personality in this arc especially his personality is like very good he had this probably like the best episode of seeing Magino's basically his person personality like seeing his personality in his arc and Boruto hasn't adapted at a single moment he still believes there's always one situation you could do is to stop that fucking creature but Boruto doesn't even think ahead he just thinks like oh we need to stop this creature we can wait for him to get to the fucking uh, harsh around cells when he gets to the land of Miz mate mate you need to think ahead if that harsh around cells get to the land of Hades and you're just thinking to kill the creature that you just dumb as fuck mate you need to think ahead that's what Mujin is trying to teach Boruto but Boruto is so a dumb fucking kid in the anime so this is a good good arc to like teach Boruto in the future that he needs to think ahead during missions that he needs to like the mission's top priority but if they stuck in a barrier and have to defeat this creature, the, he has to think ahead how to defeat this creature very easily and to get that mission done our way. So that's why I love Magina's uh, character. Like he has like this nasty communication, uh, s not skills, but there's horrible communication skills, but he's a good character. I love him. And this is a good way to teach Boruto in the future for future situations in the anime because the manga will be a lot ahead and he will have some better uh, better skills in the manga because it's much more faster than the anime. So, and then, like, basically you just see, like, Boruto, um, like, doesn't know what like other people can absorb chakra like i thought you get taught that in the chain training academy how you didn't know how when people can absorb other chakra i thought you get taught that in the training academy because they teach you about chakra they keep teach you how to train chakra they should teach you how when some enemies can absorb your chakra so that is just dumb i don't know the enemies are just trying to make Boruto so dumb in this episode so that's why I hate, that's like one thing I hated about this episode, like, Boruto is very dumb in this episode, it's like, oh, it's just so annoying. And then, at the end, this is probably the best bit, you see Deepa versus Mr. Onmu, Onmu, and he's like this, where is the Hachimaru cells? So, his two sword, sword mates, um, uh, what's it, like, two teammates said, Oh, I tell you where it is. It's down in the haze. This bunch of uh, shinobi did this and took it and escaped with it. Then Deepa's like zoomed across and stabs and kills both of them. 
and he le- left, uh, leaves um, uh, Mr. Omru to back alive because if someone like tells uh, about something, he di- they die. So you need they don't know the true rule of the shinobi. Never trail an enemy where the location of something because you will die after. That is how Deeper works. So, I love Deeper. Deeper is a great addition. I think he's been well written, like during this arc, really during this arc. I hope he goes well written in like future arcs if he doesn't die in this arc. But I don't think he will. But yeah. So yeah, we can. That is like mainly it of this episode. So the next episode is about. Uh, another uh, UG member that is called the Day or Day of the Quadrant, something like that. So basically, Borto is defeating um, uh, the two other brothers, and the other brothers does that ceiling special ceiling uh, jutsu that will turn him into that creature again in this episode, but it'll probably be a different designer, hopefully. And Borto asks questions like, why are you risking your life for this mission? Like, why, why this? Like, why are you giving up your life so easily? And this is where, where Borto is going to learn the true fact, the truth, the hard truth about the missions. That the lives is more, the mission is more important than your lives. So, yeah, that is the end of this episode and end of this review right now if you're new around here make sure you like subscribe if you're new turn the bell notification or notifications to make sure you follow my social media that's my instagram my twitter also join my discord link in the description and thank you for watching please subscribe and see you in the next video peace out guys